For many athletes, hitting a world record would be a dream come true, and that certainly applies to swimmers. Last year in the swimming pool, a total of eight long course world records and 19 short course world records were broken. In this video from Propulsion Swimming, we're gonna break down the long course world records we think are definitely gonna fall in 2023, and some records that maybe we'd love to see go as well. So let's start with the world records that we think are definitely gonna fall over the next 12 months. And we kick things off with the men's 200 meters breaststroke where Zach Stubblety Cook is in a league of his own in this event. His technique and pacing is second to none and he literally leaves everyone in his wake on the final 50 meters. He was one of those swimmers who broke a world record last year and we think he's very likely to do it again this year. The next world record that we think is most likely to fall is the men's 50 meters backstroke. Now for much of 2022, this was a world record that was constantly under threat and did eventually get broken by American Hunter Armstrong. Now America has consistently produced some of the best backstrokers the world has ever seen and Hunter Armstrong looks certainly the strongest in the sprint events. Due to his strong underwaters and fast and powerful stroke rate, Hunter looks likely to better his personal best and therefore hit a new world record in the process in 2023. But if he isn't the man to break that record, don't be surprised if other names such as Ryan Murphy and Thomas Chekon take down the mark with men's sprint backstroke swimming certainly in a purple patch. Next up then, the women's 50 meters breaststroke, which is a world record we certainly think is under threat thanks to the return to form from Ruta Militite. Since her comeback to the sport, Ruta has simply been on fire. She's come back to hit a world record in this event, short course, and looks to be a strong challenger for the long course record too, which is currently held by Italian Benedetta Pilato. With her superior reactions off the block and one of the fastest stroke rates in women's breaststroke do you agree that she has a brilliant chance to take down this record now that's three world records that we think are odds on to fall but of course we can't finish this definitive section without mentioning Christoph Milak now his current 200 meters butterfly mark is possibly the most likely world record to fall this year but we also think that the 100 meters record is certainly in his capabilities too. The way he pushed Dressel all the way in Tokyo and how comfortable he looked when he swam 50 points at major international meets last season to us means that he's definitely going to give Dressel's world record a run for his money. With his awesome back end speed that he's known for in the 200 meters event is that going to be the deciding factor that gets him past Dressel's 100 meter mark. The 200 world record mark looks like it's consistently going to drop when Milak's in the pool, but is the 100 meters as sure a thing to fall in 2023? So we've talked about the world records that we are confident will be hit in 2023. So let's talk a little bit about the world records we want to fall. The ones that we are going to be cheering for all season long. And we'll kick things off with Frenchman Leon Machard in the 400 meters individual medley. Now, last summer, he got unthinkably close to Michael Phelps' mark in this event, which previously the whole world thought was untouchable. Leon was only four tenths off the record at last year's World Championships, and we would love him to break the historic Phelps mark. If this world record was to fall, it would be one of the most historic swims we've ever seen. And this year looks like one of the better chances in a very long time for that to happen. Okay, the list from here on out is all freestyle world records. And we'll start off with the women's events where we'd really like to see the 200 meters and 400 meters world records fall. We're seriously being spoilt for female freestylers right now. And we're going through what is essentially a golden generation. When you've got the likes of Katie Ledecky, Ariane Titmus, Summer McIntosh and Savorn Horhey in the mix, it leads us to believe that we should be expecting some very fast times in the future as the talent between these girls is utterly ridiculous. Now Titmus took down Ledecky's previous mark in the 400 meters freestyle in 2022 and the two of them are likely to come to blows later on this year at the World Championships in Japan and we wouldn't be surprised if the head-to-head -head battle that we've all been waiting so long to see takes them past it once more. 
Now the 200 record is a lot tougher, with Pellegrini's mark being for me, one of the greatest freestyle swims of all time. Now the competition between the four girls that we've named and many more means that we actually think this world record could be on borrowed time, if not in 2023, certainly at the Paris Olympics in 2024. And then on the men's side of freestyle swimming, I think David Popovich has certainly laid down a marker after his 100 freestyle world record last year. We'd certainly love to see him break that one again, but can he get close to the 200 mark that Paul Biedemann set in a 142 flat? Now, a year ago, I would have said, unthinkable 2023 me and i'm sure everyone watching this video would love to see it happen so there's our predictions for 2023 i'm sure there's a few that you think we've missed so let's know in the comment section below which world records you're looking out for in the long course pool and who you think is going to be breaking them thanks for watching this week's video from propulsion swimming please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date with our latest videos and i'll catch you on the next one